hello friends welcome back to india for ias current affairs series topic of this video is pong dam wildlife sanctuary in this video we are going to study about why pong dam glaive wildlife sanctuary was in use its ecological features and its significance followed by one prelims practice question this topic that is so pong dam wildlife sanctuary it falls under gs3 paper in gs3 paper the topic is biodiversity conservation so within biodiversity conservation it falls under protected areas so in protected areas we have two kinds one is national parks another one is wildlife sanctuary so we are going to study pong dam wildlife sanctuary under the topic wildlife sanctuary so this topic it is important for the upcoming prelims 2025 and also it is important for upcoming case mains 2025 recently pong dam wildlife sanctuary was in use because the union ministry of environment forest has issued a draft notification declaring 1 km area from the boundaries of pong dam wildlife sanctuary as eco sensitive zone so union central government in madurai union ministry of environment and forestry so pong dam wildlife sanctuary in the 1 km area yen irutte adanna eco sensitive zone aagi declare madlikke ondu draft notification na release madirutte so adakkoskara pong dam wildlife sanctuary news alli irutte then what is eco sensitive zone eco sensitive zone it is an area surrounding national park or wildlife sanctuary which is considered as ecologically fragile and it has to be declared as eco sensitive zone under the environmental protection act 1986 and within this eco sensitive zone there are few activities which are prohibited and there are few activities which are regulated and then there are few activities which are permitted so in eco sensitive zone three kinds of activities are there prohibited activities regulated activities and permitted activities permitted activities na nododadre so ongoing agricultural or horticultural practices rain water harvesting organic farming use of renewable energy sources adaptation of green technology these are all permitted activities within the ecological sensitive zones whereas the regulated activities regulated activities na nododadre felling of trees establishment of hotels and resorts commercial use of natural water erection of electrical cables drastic change of agricultural system so ee tar the activities na regulate madalagide within ecological sensitive zone then coming to the prohibited activities following activities are prohibited within the ecological sensitive zone that is commercial mining mining activities irbodu saw mills industries causing pollution like air pollution water pollution soil pollution and the establishment of major hydroelectric projects and the commercial use of wood so these activities are prohibited within the ecological sensitive zones now we will briefly study about pong dam wildlife sanctuary coming to its uh, geographical location it is situated in kangra district in himachal pradesh this pong dam also called as pong reserve pong reserve here it is also called as maharana pratap sagar it was built on the bees river in the year 1975 so in the map we can see here the pong dam which is built on the bees river so this is the bees river on the bees river river in himachal pradesh in the year 1975 pong dam has been built 1975 ralli bees nadige addalagi pong dam pong reserve here idanna maharana pratap sagar antanu karitare adanna bees nadige addalagi kattalagirutte So this reserve area it has been declared as wildlife sanctuary by the government of Himachal Pradesh in the year 1983. So this is also recognized as wetland of national importance by the government of India in 1994 and it has been declared as Ramsar site that is wetland of international importance in the year November 2002. So this is about the brief study of Pong Dam wildlife sanctuary. now we will look into the ecological features of pong dam wildlife sanctuary so climatologically it is a subtropical area so the pong dam wildlife sanctuary it falls under subtropical climate the flora that is plant kingdom of 
Pongdam wildlife sanctuary is as follows. We can find the eucalyptus trees, kikar trees, jamun, shisham, mango, mulberry, sycamore, kashinar and amla. Then coming to the fauna, that is animal world of the Pongdam wildlife sanctuary. So mammals not other, barking deer is there, sambar, wild boar, nilgai, leopard, small clawed otter. Coming to the birds, black headed gulls, red necked grebes, plovers, terns, ducks. So these are the different fauna of the Pongdam wildlife sanctuary. So now we will look into the significance of declaring eco sensitive zone. So eco sensitive zone na create model dagli or declare model dagli surrounding wildlife sanctuary and national park. So either in the end significance is the node of the So the first one is conservation objective. So this helps in protecting the biodiversity and ecological balance of the Pong Dam region. So Pong Dam region is surrounding end biodiversity there, in ecology there, other than protect modelike, other than conserve modelike, help modelike. Second one is sustainable development. So declaring or restricting the harmful activities helps in allowing ecotourism and sustainable practices. Then the third one is migratory birds habitat. This Pong Dam Reserve here, it is serves as a major wintering site for migratory birds and it enhances the declaration of ecological zone, enhances the ecological significance that is it provides more habitat for the migratory birds. So that is one of the, that is one more significance of the declaring surrounding region of Pong Dam as a eco sensitive zone. So this is all about Pong Dam Wildlife Sanctuary, why it was in use its geographical location and uh, ecological features of the Pong Dam Wildlife Sanctuary. Based on the topic that we have discussed so far, here we have provided one prelims practice question. The question contains four statements. Go through all the four statements and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout, which you can download by joining our Telegram channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.